Hi everybody and welcome to my classroom. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the differences between shield and composite volcanoes. So, let's get started. So, here's my diagram of a composite volcano. Composite volcanoes occur at destructive plate boundaries where two plates are coming together, either in subduction or in a collision boundary. The main features, firstly the magma chamber, which I've already labelled, and then the layers of matter which are built up from subsequent eruptions, one after the other. So we can date these volcanoes very easily by looking at the strata in the rock. The main feature of these volcanoes are their explosive, powerful eruptions. So I'm going to label the ash cloud up here, where there's also the potential, if we add in a secondary vent here, like so, there's also the potential for damaging pyroclastic flows. And there you have it. That's your composite volcano diagram sorted. And hopefully, if you're asked to draw in an exam, you name these features and these impacts, and that will pick up your marks. So now we come to the, the contrasting shield volcano. These form at constructive plate boundaries, where the plates are moving apart, meaning the magma underneath isn't under pressure. It just sort of dribbles out, if you will. So we get these low, wide shapes of volcano with no pyroclastic flows, no massive energy eruptions usually. All we've got are nice slow lava flows. Still very dangerous, still very hot, still very destroying in their own way and still need to be managed. So what we've got then on our diagram, we've got lava flows. We've got perhaps steam vents. such as those at uh, Geysir in Iceland, um, Yellowstone National Park, the steam vents there that, that release just steam, nothing more than, than superheated water into the atmosphere. And then we've got this nice low, wide profile to the volcano as well. And that's it, that's another diagram done. This is a shield volcano, and we've got that nice contrast between the two. That's... So there we have it, our two diagrams, on shield and composite volcanoes, we know the types of plate boundary they're at and we know the differences between them. The next time we'll be looking at fold mountains, how they're used, how they're created and how people are adapted to live there. But that's it. If you've got any questions you can tweet me at Mr Nut Geography, have a look at my blog mrnutgeography.blogspot.com, otherwise I'll see you back in the classroom next time.